let the countdown begin. Here are the five best snorkeling spots on Oahu. According to us. And where to swim with Hawaiian green sea turtles in Hawaii or find them resting on the beach. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. So our five spots on Oahu are located all over the island in every little different spot. So it doesn't matter if you're staying in Kualina, Waikiki, or North Shore, there's gonna be a spot for you. One thing though, the seas are calmer on the leeward side of the island. So like Kualina to Waikiki on that southern side of the island, a lot easier snorkeling there. But there is really good snorkeling on the North Shore and windward side. You just have to watch out during the winter months. You get higher surf there, you get reduced visibility, not as good and not as safe. So what are we basing this list off of? Besides our personal preference. Which is very important. The first is the ease of access. So that's safety, that's the ease of getting in and getting to see some things relatively quickly. It's also parking because parking can be a challenge at some of the really good snorkeling spots on the island. Also we look at facilities, so whether it has bathroom facilities, if it has shade, that's also a big plus. And of course, fish. You want to be able to see some marine life and have some good visibility. So that is another one of our top criteria. Before we jump into the first snorkel spot, if you want to know how to fit all these great snorkel spots into your Oahu itinerary, then go to our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu, where we have a ton of really good Oahu itineraries. So you can pretty much finish your Oahu trip planning. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Number five, starting off at Queens Beach in Waikiki. So hang on, stay with me. I know what you're thinking. Waikiki does not have great snorkeling. It has decent snorkeling though, and because this is the most visited spot on Oahu and actually in all the Hawaiian Islands, we always get asked, where can you snorkel in Waikiki? And that answer is Queens. So Queens is great for kids, for families, for all levels of snorkeling, and it's just so easily accessible. But let me show you where to go in Queens. I'm ready for some snorkeling. Are you ready? So that is the pier that comes out of Kapahula Avenue. They call that the wall. And then this nice little beach right here is all Queens Beach. See, someone's going to go snorkeling. You come right here to this kind of the aquarium wall. And about 100 feet out, you can kind of see where the light changes color. There's a channel. It's about eight feet deep. And right on the walls of the channel is where all the fish are at. Queens Beach is located on the southeast side of Waikiki, head towards Diamond Head, and it feels like you're right underneath Diamond Head. That is where Queens Beach is located. How was it? It was great. I saw two eels out there, lots of sea cucumbers, lots of fish, so I'm into some big fish body. It's not great visibility today, but I still think it was a good snorkeling day. Before we get too far into this video, I feel like we need to do a quick PSA on snorkeling because snorkeling is the number one cause of accidental death for visitors to the island because it looks so simple and easy, but it can actually be really dangerous, especially if it is your first time. Exactly. So number one, always go out with a buddy. Have somebody there with you. Also, abide by the lifeguard's flags. They tell you the ocean conditions. Another big one, never turn your back on the ocean. Mm -hmm. When you go in the water, we recommend wearing sun protective clothing and also mineral-based non-nano sunscreen. That is the best for protecting the reef, what we know now. Mm -hmm. Also, don't step on the coral. We wanna keep the reef safe as well as you. And when in doubt, take a snorkel tour because you'll be going out with experienced guides who can help you navigate and make sure you are going to the safe places and staying safe. So look down below in our description because we have links to all of our favorite Oahu snorkeling operators. Number four, we are heading north, Kualima Cove at Turtle Bay. Mm -hmm. This is a great place to see sea turtles, to go swimming with them. So the nice thing about Turtle Bay is it sits on a peninsula, you got Turtle Bay on one side and you got Kualima Cove on the other. It has this beautiful gold sand beach, it's protected by a great reef in front of you, and it's a really nice cove. We recommend staying to the right side because the left side gets a little more currents because the kind of the water flushes out right there. Stay to the right side. And plus, that's usually where the turtles are hanging out or just look for any of the rock outcroppings. You're usually munching and having lunch right there. What we recommend as a pro tip is pick up some snacks before you go. You got a few amazing places. Kahuku has a bunch of food trucks, like Giovanni's is there. You also have the Kahuku Farmers Stands, which are right off the Kamehameha Highway. Pick up some snacks for the beach. 
And if you really look for something else, you have Roy's Beach Club, which sits right there on the beach for Turtle Bay, but also they have like a little window you can go up on. Mm -hmm. So we get this a lot. We know it's at Turtle Bay. You don't have to be a guest to go to this beach. All beaches in Hawaii are public. So you have access, there's even public parking there. Mm -hmm. So that's another tip. When you're driving in the parking lot, just look for the public access parking spots and get there early, probably around like 10, 11 o'clock before those uh, spots fill up for the day. No luck seeing sea turtles, but even poor visibility, cause like the high surf right now, it was still beautiful. That's some really nice snorkeling here. Really big fish. This place is just, it's always a classic. Too bad I missed that turtle though. Next time, next time. Number three is Shark's Cove at Pupu Kea Beach. This is just south of Turtle Bay. It's two minutes north of Waimea Bay, which is also a beautiful spot. But Shark's Cove, it looks like a giant swimming pool. Like it's got this little cove around it. It's only about five to like eight feet deep. The water's absolutely beautiful, great color, really good visibility. And this is a great place to go, especially for beginners. The beach there is really nice too. It does get a little rocky, but like it's a wonderful place to go. You can spend the whole day there because right across the street, there's a ton of food trucks right there. You got the Sunrise Cafe, you got a shrimp truck, you got tacos, you have really good food there. Got a lot. Yeah, lock us up. And you can rent snorkel equipment there too. There's a little surf shop right there on the beach so you can grab stuff and then just have a great day at Shark's Cove. How easy is that? I know, and even parking. It's really not that bad. There's a big public parking lot right in front. It does fill up by 11 o'clock. That's kind of like the rule around here. So try to hit that up early and just have a nice day of it. If it is full, just go down to Waimea Bay and take a look at that. And we love our safety tips in case you can't tell. Don't leave the protected area of Shark's Cove because the water does get rougher out there. It's exactly, there's a little cut in opening in the rock. Don't go through it. It's tempting, <laughs> but don't swim through that. Just stay on the inside. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Nama Bay, man, it doesn't get better than this. The sun's out. Number two, down on the southeast side of Oahu is Hanama Bay. It is a nature preserve, so the fish are massive here. Nobody's fishing there. You get beautiful fish, vibrant colors. It's a beautiful reef. It's a beautiful beach too. It totally lives up yeah. to the hype. It like, really totally. does. Hanama Bay can be a tough one to visit because it is so crowded and they only let a few people a day, but we'd be remiss to not put this on our list because it is uh, just such a well-protected cove. It's a marine preserve. If you want to see just amazing fish and marine life, Try to fit this place in, right? It's only like 15 minutes from Waikiki. Some tips if you wanna visit Hanama Bay. So there are 300 spots for parking, which sounds like a ton, but it, it fills is up fast. so popular. It fills up so fast. The parking opens at 6.45 and it's $3 for parking, cash only. Besides parking for $3, there's also a $12 entrance fee for 12 years and older, and you can pay credit card for that. And when you enter, they have you watch this informative video, which I find fascinating, because it talks about the history of the reef, history of the islands a little bit. And once you watch that short video, then they throw you on a tram, which takes you down to the beach. Or you can walk. Or you we can just walk went too. on a tram because Henry loves trams. Exactly, you have to do it for the kids. We should also know it's not open every day, so make sure you check and see if it is open before you decide to head out there. It is closer now Monday and Tuesday, and that's all about protecting it and helping the reef rejuvenate a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this place has wonderful amenities, so great bathrooms and showers. It is very, very nice. The one thing they are not doing right now is they are not renting snorkel equipment on site as part of their COVID-19 safety precautions. So if you are coming during COVID, make sure that you bring your own rental snorkel gear. Which reminds me too, the food stand down at the beach is closed right now too, but that could be opening. So we recommend packing in, bringing in a lunch. And the number one place for snorkeling is not here. It's not in Coalina Lagoons but it is right outside the Koalina Gates in Waianae. We are at Electric Beach right now. It's called Electric Beach because there's a power plant here and that power plant dumps this warm water into the ocean just right offshore and the fish love it. So there's always plenty of parking. It's in Waianae, so right past Kapolei and then right past Koalina. So right after the Koalina exit, then you'll see this place on the left, you pass the, the big power plants, you've gone too far. This one, we're really hesitant about putting out, especially at number one, because this is not for beginners. Just gonna say that right off the bat. This gets a little rough. To get to the really good snorkeling spot, it's about 50 yards to 75 yards offshore. So it is a swim. So before we get into this, you gotta have a swim buddy with you. Experienced but, snorkeler. Like, exactly. This is not your first place to get in the water. But you are rewarded when you get out of there. Power plant water comes out and then dumps right out there. Probably where those people are at. Let's go jump in this place. It's got a great little beach here too. 
So when you go there and you're swimming, then you're literally just surrounded by fish. Just absolutely surrounded by them. All these different types. It's just a really cool place to go and check out. If you're experienced. If you're experienced, have a swim buddy with you. When you start swimming straight out, you'll, uh, you'll see a bunch of rocks. And you just kind of follow that. It's like a pier. It's where the pipe is. Look at the water bubbling up. So the bonus, where are the good places to swim with Hawaiian green turtles or see them on the beach in Oahu? So like we said in our number four spot, Kualima Cove and Turtle Bay is a great place to swim with them. Another good place to swim with them is Papa Iloa Beach. It is right north of Haleiwa Town and that is another great place to swim with them. It's a really quiet beach. There's about five parking spots. It's a residential area, so be polite to the people living there, but that's one of our favorite beaches to go to. You can also just view them from the shore because it's like a rocky entrance and you can see them kind of bobbing around, just enjoying the Eating up algae and, and stuff it's, like that. It's, it's great. pretty awesome. And a really popular place, which you'll see a lot of people parking along the road, is Lane Ikea Beach. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's really popular. You'll lot see them down there resting on the beach. Mm -hmm. They are endangered species, so stay 30 feet away on the beach from them. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to figure out how to fit all these great snorkel spots into your Oahu vacation, head to our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu, where we have itineraries. They'll finish your planning for you. And believe me, we know what we're talking about. We know the best place to go, best places to eat. A lot of stuff that we don't put in these videos or in the itineraries. We've done a lot of fun research for them. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. We're gonna keep circling.